thought it was very kind of exciting, extreme, very Jean-Paul Gaultier, lots of bright, bright neon colour, and a lot of fun. It was fun. And I think, you know, there were certain things you know, that were like cages. You don't have to wear it with the, with the cage. You can always throw the cage away. Oh, absolutely. And I just thought it, I thought it expressed his personality, that fashion is about fun. Can you tell me about Angelina Jolie and her style? I think Angelina Jolie has fabulous style and I think when she was pregnant and when she was at the Cannes Film Festival she was the most, not just stylish pregnant woman, but the radiant, the most stylish pregnant woman but also the most stylish woman in the world. She looked fabulous. There was one kind of olive green gown. Beyond belief and I love the fact that she was wearing those kind of trainers underneath all the long gowns to keep her feet comfortable. But she glowed, she looked radiant, and I just wish her all the luck in the world. I'm sure she and Brad will have the most fabulous twins. Can you tell me you brought back the cage? Uh, I think I bring back the cage, but in a new way. That was my purpose. In reality, my purpose was not to bring the cage at the beginning, you know. It became like that because I am working with one uh, choreographer quite known, which is Angeline Prejlo Cage, and his name is Cage, so first. Second, he's doing like Snow White, so I was like supposed to find an uh, uh, idea for uh, a moment with a big ball, you know. On the big ball I was thinking, oh, maybe, uh, come on, historical a little, but more modern hysterical so crinoline what is crinoline is cage so I work on cage and I start to make like new cage because of the choreography so uh, I did the cage and I said mm, maybe it's good for the couture